the role that we play in the business is different. Pat is really the watchman and also displays extremely sharp on window displays and interior displays. And he's always watching and looking and criticizing if it's not up to his standard. So we have to be on our toes. The running of the business, I suppose I'm a bit more involved. And um, I was always involved as a staff person, taking on staff and interviewing them and trying to get them trained up to be a good standard. Looking back at, over the years, we had a half day on Wednesday in those days. So we used to leave our diamond rings in the windows at night and um, we left them there until 11 o'clock every night. So we locked up at six o'clock and it gave people a chance to shop around when the, when the, um, when the pictures were over. Couples came out and they would have shopped in all of our shops in Patrick Street and North Main Street and indeed in Oliver Plunkett Street. So it was my job or Jared's job to clear the windows. We took uh, that in turns that every other week we had to clear all the windows between 11 and a half past every night. So you weren't just finished at six o'clock. You were back in again at quarter to 11 to start clearing them out by quarter past 11, just to give the people a chance to shop around. And it was, uh, it was in a very interesting time. Those days we had, um, as I said, the, Wednesday, the Wednesdays were half days. And uh, sure, the traffic was so light in those days, you'd go home for your lunch. Yeah. Whereas now you'd be having a quick snack in the shop and get on with it. But uh, there were different times. The path that George was going down was the uh, with the diamond side of it. Well, we've become known, I suppose, over the last 50 years as being a diamond ring specialist. Initially, I went to, I was very interested in the, in the watch side of it. And um, then I went to a company in Dublin, which were uh, assembling watches. So I was on an assembly line, a watch assembly line, assembly watches in Dublin. And then um, I was there for probably about a year and a half. Um, then came back to the business and started acquiring, which are difficult and, and, and even today it's much more difficult to get brands such as Tudor, Breitling, Tag Heuer. And eventually we went on to get the Rolex, which is one of the kingpins, and then subsequently got um, Patek Philippe, which is probably the best brand of watch in the world today. Pat and I decided we'd go abroad to buy our jewellery and some of our watches direct from the manufacturers. So we went to Basel in Switzerland, we went to Vicenza in Italy, we went to Hong Kong and we picked what we could in those areas which meant we got a much bigger selection. They were some of the great days when we started doing that. It was uh, the first time we'd done it and um, that enabled us to get brands, watches like Pat bought a watch. We named it Apollo, which was a super watch. And we got many years out of that, many, many years. We still see a few of them come in for a pair, the odd one, after all those years. We had the, uh, the Keen watch, which we branded our own name on it. Yeah. You know, we brought in the, um, the equipment from Switzerland and named the watch in, in our own workshops and um, that was a big advertising piece for ourselves. But uh, yeah, we strived together to acquire the quality that we have today, which is synonymous with the name. Um, we're very proud of the brands and going forward, I, I intend keeping that standard going.